that's okay. That's what you want to get into. Okay. Okay. This is Coffee with Tough Souls. June edition? What month are we talking Yeah. End of May, June. Yeah, May, June. Yeah. It, don't tell anyone, it's August, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> We're gonna make a coffee and chat about some of the stuff that we did. These are some of the kind of fun, exciting things that we did that we didn't get to make full videos out of. Yeah. Um, but... They're still pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start making the coffee. Um, and I think the thing that makes this kind of end of May slash June is um, Caves of Kesh. I can't remember when we did that. I think it might have been the end of May. Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably April. <laughs> um, yeah, we went to the Caves of Kesh, which are a really cool set of caves. You kind of do this really steep hike up um, a hill, and then the top half of the hill is cliff-like. You kind of picture Ben Bulban. A lot of Irish people will know Ben Bulban. The Caves of Kesh are kind of a similar shape hill. Uh, yeah, we did the Caves of Kesh. The Caves are cool. I wouldn't have called it a hike. I think it's more like a... Uh, it's a very steep walk for about five minutes. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous. There's some fantastic views from the caves. Yeah. Uh, if you get there on a good day. Um, it was much more dramatic than I was expecting. Yeah, you kind of think like, oh, what could possibly be here? Like you just drive into basically a field and... Uh, you do this short walk and then you get up there and you can just see for miles and miles and miles and miles. Yeah. Um, There's a car park, a small car park there. That yeah. Recently built. And a little playground actually. Um, oh, at the, at yeah. the in the village of Kesh itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only about two or three miles away. Um, what else did we do? We did the Leecham Way. Yeah. The, the Leecham Way is opening. the section that we did walk was open yeah. and we filmed the whole thing with the intention of making a video and we did a terrible job yeah. it was our first sometimes it happens yeah it was our first video back and we just did a really yeah. bad job we were all excited to do like a walking video like you know like we used to do and then we just did a terrible job um so not the fault of the trail the trail yeah. was great really yeah. enjoyed walking it um we just weren't interesting <laughs> in the videos so yeah and uh and since then the Top the top half has opened, yeah. So it actually it's huge now. So it goes from Manor Hamilton all the way to Drumshambo, um, which is quite a lengthy trail. Um, it even goes further, it goes to Leechin Village. It goes to Leechin Village, in fact, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so that's really exciting. We're really, really excited to go and do that. It's actually one yeah. of the closest trails to us. Yeah, so the trail, it closed it was, several yeah, years ago. Yeah. And then, but we knew, we knew of it. So um, when I broke my foot in year one, and we were back here for a while. We kind of went off and did like not the Leitrim way. So we did a bit of a walk around the canals of that area. Yeah. Being like, well, the Leitrim way is closed, but here's a similar ish hike. Um, yeah. But now the Leitrim way is actually open, so we can count it as National Landmark Trail. Indeed, indeed. And so it'll be our yeah. first one. We did it. Yeah. First trail of. Yeah. 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 So, at the time of editing, the beginning of August 2021, the Leitrim village to Dara stretch is open and covers a distance of roughly 27 kilometers, which is what you're seeing us walking in these clips. The next section of trail would extend the trail further north up to Manor Hamilton and pushing the total distance up to around 56 kilometers. We expect the whole trail to be open soon and we'll leave links in the description to the websites and social media where you can find out more about this trail. Yeah. And then after that, oh, excuse me. My coffee is excitedly brewing. Here, I'll give you some mugs. Thanks. We've got some real fancy mugs. 
the uh, clay that these mugs are made of actually comes from the Dublin mountains. Um, After that, we did the mountain skills course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did mountain skills one. So what are you doing tomorrow, last night? I don't know, you tell me, I actually don't know anything about it. <laughs> We're doing a Mountain Skills 1 course, and I have actually got no information on what that is, except for that we're doing it. So, Ellie, why don't you explain to me what we're doing tomorrow? We're doing the Mountain Skills 1. It's the first on the ladder to being a mountain leader. It's from accredited by Mountaineering Ireland, which is our our National imagineering body, body. yeah, yeah. Um, we, which is something we'd want if we were to do like guided walks for instance um, it is a two day course um, it is mostly about map reading and daylight na navigation and what navigation? daylight, daytime okay. map reading and daytime navigation um, we do night navigation on mountain skills too I see yes Carl then strategically put his hand on the mic and the audio dies. But basically, I list that pacing and map reading were two of the major parts of Mountain Skills 1. After completing this weekend course, we can begin logging our hikes as there are a mandatory number of off-trail hikes we have to complete before our Mountain Skills assessment. Natural like, yep. I, I, I can read the contours and I yeah. can kind of read the ridge lines and the saddles and stuff and be like, yeah. okay, we're yeah. here. But I don't know what you do with the compass then after that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, I don't need this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to see how it will go. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be cool. Yeah. Uh, and I'm looking forward to spending a couple of hours outside tomorrow and the day after. Yeah. Also, Ellie ran a marathon the day before yesterday. I did. Spoiler alert. Okay. <laughs> Indeed. But the more important thing is I ran 12k. You did. Mm. And the last 12k as well, which were the hardest 12k. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was so <laughs> tired from the first 30k of, you know, like driving around behind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. My shoulder's sore. Yeah. How did you find your first day of mountain skills? Yeah, it was good. Um, we, do you want to tell the truth? It was a bit below our skill level. It was 99% stuff I already knew. But it was fine. I had a good time. We got to go outside. Um, we went up uh, Shlieve on Iren. Uh, it was just under, like, a, like six metres under 600 metres. Um, so, like, quite a fun day's walk. Got to bag a trick point as they say in the trick point bagging industry, um, which is pretty cool. Um, did a lot of map reading and uh, like learned how to pace ourselves, as in like how far, know how far we're going based on the number of steps we're taking, um, which is something that I feel like we kind of know how to do, but it's more of an implicit thing rather than, you know, learning I don't think I intentionally learned it, if you know what I mean. Um, it was just something that kind of fell out of walking the walks. Um, but yeah, it was cool. I had a good time. We have another day of it tomorrow. Another like section of like classroom style teaching, except it's via Zoom. Um, and then another five or six hours out on the mountain, um, which will be cool. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Brad. 
And uh, yeah, so we just finished our second um, Mountain Skills course. Yeah, well, second day. Of oh, Mountain, the second day of the chat. Mountain Skills one. Yeah, sorry, it's two courses Mountain Skills one and Mountain Skills two. And we've now done the second one. Uh, the, no, the second day. Okay, I'm going to try that again. We've now done the second day, the final and the second and final day of the um, Mountain Skills one course. Um, what do you think, Ali? I, um, I really enjoyed today. Today was much more um, like us leading, um, so picking features on the map, um, getting our uh, map set up, and to, like navigation to the different points. Um, yeah, it was really fun, and the weather was also quite nice today. And I don't know, yeah, I just really enjoyed being outside, having a day that was a little less. Um, like lecture heavy in the morning and more just a more uh, more just being outside yeah 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 looking on a map being like where are we where are we going what yeah. direction are we going to go now yeah and I think for the, it was really great because for the two of us we clicked um, quite easily like we already yeah to be honest we, we did already have the skills yeah we've, already, we've yeah. already done it before we just haven't done it with, in like as an official in yeah. such an official manner yeah so, oh, come on, sheep, please move. Um, yeah. So it was nice to like get the technical, like official wordings for things. Um, yeah, I had a great time. It's also like, you always feel good when you've finished uh, a course or a weekend of activity and it's all done. Yeah, and the nice to have our search. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite enjoyable. Um, yeah, I definitely had a good time. It was also a corner of uh, Leitrim that we didn't know, yeah, which was kind of cool. Um, okay, that's enough of that. I want to go get a chipper. So we just did the very first one, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing a few more levels of, of that. It was really nice to kind of have what I know be verified in a way. Yeah, and it's also really great to know kind of what level people are at, like what the kind of beginner skills are for people, you know? Um, so it is really, I thought it was really, really valuable just to see kind of that insight. Yeah. Um, what else? Ellie ran a marathon. I did. <laughs> My first one. Um, because there aren't any official marathons. I kind of made up my own route. Yeah. So I did the, the lucky loop. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, that was cool. Um, I think I actually found a couple of the really long training ones harder than the marathon one itself. Um, it's one of those things where you're like over prepared. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And also, yeah, we need a little bit more self belief. Mm. But, um, but it was good, it was a good learning experience. I'm really excited to see what it would be like to run in an actual race where you kind of have the adrenaline and everybody else being around you. But yeah, um, I'm kind of interested in like why people run marathons. Yeah, you meant to think about it the whole time you were running your marathon and instead you were busy running your marathon. <laughs> I kind of thought about it, but yeah, that might be its own video eventually. Yeah, yeah. Um, a follow up to our very popular uh, oh yeah. What's it called? Finding my feet. Finding your feet. Yeah. yeah. That was my first kind of run video yeah. of the second half to Bray Hair Shitray. Or the first half to Bray yeah. Walking. Yeah. And we were on TV. <laughs> we were on actual TV. We were. We were on Ireland AM, which is Ireland's only kind of live morning show. Yeah. So I feel like there's 50 of them, but actually it's just this one. So yeah, that was incredible. We uh, we got the call on like Sunday evening, and we showed up on Tuesday morning or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, what sparked the whole thing was that Ireland was voted one of the best places to hike in the world. In Europe, I'm pretty sure. In Europe? Okay. Well, yeah, Ireland, it was, Ireland was a pretty voted. good place to hike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, got a high score. Yeah. Um, I think based it off of like TripAdvisor or Lonely Planet or something, something it had the like highest that. rating. Something bizarre. Um, so they're like, hey, do you want to come on and? give us a range of hikes that are like, some are approachable for anybody, some are like the coolest in Ireland. 
Yeah. And yeah, we got to talk for a whole... Eight minutes. <laughs> it's actually really short. Um, they asked us for seven trails or something to fill that time. And like, there's no way, like, you run out of time yeah. super fast. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. Uh, we drove down, we showed up at the studio. They basically just sat us down and started talking to us about hikes. And we were like, is this life? Uh, it was a bit scary, but we didn't, I don't think we screwed up. And I have to say, I haven't watched it again. Like, I've never watched this, and I'm not sure I ever will watch it. Yeah. Um, Ellie will be the one editing this video, so I want to see the, <laughs> the in cuts or whatever. But um, I don't think we screwed it up too much. No, I think we um, did a pretty okay job. Ellie did a great job. Uh, and yeah, I think that went really well, actually. Yeah. Um, so if you saw us in the end, do uh, give us a wave in the comments. Um, yeah, that was a pretty cool experience. Yeah, yeah. So, so in Ireland there's 42 National Waymark Trails. Okay. So you might have heard of the Wicklow Way yeah, or the Kerry Way or the Dingle Way. So that's one of 42 trails. Yeah. And, right. And they, so what, you're going to walk all of them? We, we have. have walked all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how far? And it was so funny as well because, because of the year it is, they had like this gazebo that they were filming in outside that like looked really fancy and stuff on screen but was actually just like in their car park. Literally in the car park. Our car was like four meters to the right of yeah. where I was sitting. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we got all like mic'd up, we're sitting on the couch, the presenter comes yeah. out, we film for like eight minutes, and then during the ad break, he like walks up to the other section of the studio, and the camera guy is like, well, right, great. There's your car. Right, thanks very <laughs> much, uh, see you later. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, and so we just like wander yeah. over to our car, and we're like, whoa, I guess that was it. Yeah, we did that. Um, yeah, that was really, really cool. Yeah. And um, they asked us actually on the phone on the way down, they were like, do you have like a, like an accreditation for, for like hiker, like, you know, did you, you obviously didn't go to college for hiking, but like, is there anything like that? We were like, nope, we just did a lot of hiking. And, uh, and so they decided what should be in the like little- Byline? Yeah, byline, exactly. And uh, like, I swear we did not decide to call ourselves hiker extraordinaires um, or hikers extraordinaire, but uh, yeah. that, that's what it said on TV. So it must be true. I guess we're hikers extraordinaire. Um, yeah, that was great. Uh, that was a great experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of wild to actually think about that as a thing that we've done now. Um, yeah, so if you'd like us to be on your TV program, do let us know. Yes. Um, we'll do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> um. AM asked us to provide information and voiceover video for six different trails across the country that would suit a variety of walkers. The six that we chose were the Barrow Way in County Carlow, the Nor Valley Way in County Kilkenny, the Baylock Hike in the Knockmill Down Mountains of County Tipperary. The first long distance trail that we mentioned was the Miners Way and Historical Trail in County Roscommon. The Wicklow Way in County Wicklow is definitely one of Ireland's most iconic trails. And finally, we have the Barrow Way in counties Cork and Kerry. Um, yeah. Is that it? Is um, that we finished the oh, yeah. Three Minute Trail series. It's finally done. You never have to watch another Three Minute Trail until we do another trail. Um, so the Three Minute Trails... What is it right? And he's just so emotional to finish the three minute trails. <laughs> and now you look like you're like one half of your face is crying. Uh, um, just just look this way. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the three minute trails was a uh, a series that we'd intended to really only last for like 2020. Yeah. Or really even only the first half of 2020, um, because we were expecting to be able to do a lot more yes. stuff last year, um, and then it just sort of. Grew, I suppose, uh, to take. Oh, it just kind of, yeah, went on. It and just on. went on, yeah. Um, um, yeah. But it was a, I think it was a really valuable series, um, kind of explaining in a short summary what a trail was. Yeah. Um, and so, because, you know, our original videos, which I'm actually pretty sure very few people have watched, um, they're just much longer, sort of like as it happens mm -hmm. videos, um, more like, you know, as things are going on, we were talking about them. Um, and they're, I think they're great. Um, but they're this just, is a handy thing for if people yeah, this is like just a, want info on Hey, I want to go to do. the, the Loch Derg way. Like, what are the 10 things I need to know about it? That yeah. was the idea behind the Trina Trails. And yeah. I think we pulled that off pretty well. I'm pretty happy to have that done. Yeah. Um, and now I can do a lot of new stuff. So that's yes. really great. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, yeah. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Kind um, of a new dawn for, for Tufts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We moved out of the, out of the country as well. We're not going to talk about it, but we did. Yeah. Um, that was kind of mentioned in the new beginnings video. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you haven't watched that, do check it out. And anything else to say? If you are watching this video, um, it would be great if you could subscribe to our channel. Give us a subscribe! Oh my gosh! Like... About a quarter of the people who watch our videos are subscribed and it really, really helps the YouTube gods mm -hmm. and if people who watch our videos are subscribed to us. So it would be really amazing. <laughs> yeah, give us a subscribe. Yes. There's a button right down there. You just press it. We got so many new patrons. Thank you to all of the new patrons who've joined us. It's really, really exciting for us to have like the support really means so much to us. So I want to say a really big thank you to Sean Ferguson, Ruben Panov and Thomas Hallion. And I want to say a huge thank you to uh, James Fulton, Sean Fusco and Sinead Hines. I, I think we got them. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, thank you so huge much thanks. for your support. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you in our next video. Yeah, the next video is going to be one where I walk up and down a hill a lot. I think. Probably. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> or it's another high point. Or it's another high point. So either way, be excited. Yes. Yeah, this is, we did not need another coffee. I made it really weak. Yeah, thanks.